another video brought to you by Kendall Works. So today I'm going to show you how to install an SSL certificate onto an IIS website. In order to do that, you're going to need to obtain your SSL certificate. I would highly recommend obtaining your certificate in the .pfx format. This makes it really simple and easy to install your certificate on your Windows-based machine. So there are a few options out there. You can either use letsencrypt.org and that's your standard free service that you can go out. And if you want more information on how to get free SSL certificates, I would definitely suggest checking out letsencrypt.org. The second method is paying a big name brand provider you know, like Symantec is a big one, Global Signs another big one, and you can get a certificate that way. Once you've obtained your certificate for your DNS name, the next step you'll want to do is save it somewhere. I've gone ahead and saved it on my desktop, as you can see here. And then the next step is you're going to come down to this little button if you're on a Windows 10 uh, machine that says Ask Me Anything. This is Cortana. Cortana allows you to search for things on your computer. So we're just going to type in MMC, that is the Microsoft Management Console. And then once you have that, click Enter and it will bring it up. The next step is to go ahead and click on File, go to Add or Remove Snap-in, go down here and select Certificates and click Add. Make sure you select Computer Account. Go ahead and click Next, go ahead and click Finish. Now you have your certificates over here, and then go ahead and click OK. All right, so the next step is to click on Certificates, go to your Personal Store, right-click, and then go ahead and go to All Tasks and Import. It's going to say, hey, we want to grab it from the local machine. Go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and choose your file. Browse here, and I'm going to find the file that we have for our certificate that was stored on our desktop. Um, and you want to change this from CER to um, PFX, Personal Information Exchange. There's the file there. We'll go ahead and click Open and click Next. With a PFX file, you have a key and you have a certificate portion of it. That key, it's asking for that password that's assigned to that. That should be given to you by whoever's issuing it, GlobalSign, VeriSign, etc. Go ahead and type in that password and then click Next. Um, there we go. And then uh, it will bring you to this screen here and then you want to place it in the personal store. Go ahead and click Next and then go ahead and click Finish. It's going to let you know that the import was successful. Go ahead and click OK. And then uh, you have a certificates folder here now, and then you have your certificate that you applied for. As you can tell here, I'm using Let's Encrypt, which is a free service, and it expires in uh, March of 13, 2017. You can click on, double click on it to view your certificate and go to the certification path, and you can verify that this certificate is okay. All right, now this process here has put the actual certificate in your personal store on the computer. I'm going to close out of it, and I'm not going to save settings to your console. The console uh, settings that you save is basically not necessary for what we're doing here. So go ahead and click No. Next step is come back down here to Cortana, and then type in IIS. Go ahead and open up IIS. Click on your server name. Right next to it, there's an arrow. It'll drop down and expand. Same thing um, at your sites here. Go ahead and click the arrow and expand down. And then go ahead and click on your default website. Now, if you want to bind that SSL certificate to your IIS, go ahead and click Bindings. Go ahead and click Add. Change this to HTTPS. Go ahead and leave it to All Unassigned. That just basically means it's going to find any network uh, devices that you have, you know, network cards basically, and any IP addresses that are associated on your machine, and it's going to use them so people can get to your PC that way. Uh, the next step is to select a certificate. And as you can tell, it sees this certificate that was in the personal store. We'll just click OK. You can also view it much like we did earlier, and you can check it and make sure it looks good. Just go ahead and click OK. It now has that bound to 443. Go ahead and click Close. 
I always restart the website. This is not necessary, but I always do it out of habit. I've restarted the website now, and now you can open up your browser and you can go to your site and test that it works. And as you can tell, here is my website. The certificate looks fine. It's letting me know it's all okay. So that's how you add a SSL certificate to an IIS site within Windows. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Yeah.